Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon, the Marlins completed their second sweep of the Mets in two weekends as they beat the Mets in 10 innings, 8 to 4. Second straight extra inning win for the Marlins, who are now 8 and 3 against the Mets this year. This was a game where the Mets let a 4 to 1 lead get away. We got to go out there and, and you know, get guys on base. And, and today, after uh, whatever inning it was where we scored a couple runs, um, you know, we weren't able to do that. I don't even know if we got any hits after that. So uh, um, you know, we got to do a better job of going up there and, and at least giving ourselves, putting ourselves in a position to drive some runs in. Well, it really looked like the Mets were cruising, didn't it, after David Wright drove in a couple with his double to deep center field. Jonathan Neese was really styling. He ran into a little bit of problems in the top of the sixth when he gave back a couple of runs to make it 4-3. And it was really Derek Dietrich late with the home run uh, that tied the game that sent it to extra innings. Yeah, I felt good considering that uh, you know, I had, what, 13 days off. So, um, you know, that aspect of it I uh, felt great but obviously there's always still room to improve I thought um, you know Rec um, <clears throat> called a great game the Marlins now have 18 wins for the year they've beaten the Mets five straight times over the last two weekends what does this say about the Mets right now you know this is when you reach down inside and you find out who belongs here and who doesn't for me uh, it's you know it just seems that the Marlins are just that team that you know just gives us fits but um, you know, if it's not one thing, it's the other, it seems like. But, you know, we just got to forget about it and keep battling. I think, uh, you know, the next time we face them, uh, we'll worry about them then. But, you know, we got to get ready for the Cardinals. So. Unfortunately, we haven't played well, uh, you know, since that Yankee series and trying to turn the corner and get it going. Well, uh, what it says is that uh, a lot of times you're in your division and you're looking at the person below you and say, boy, thank God we're not as bad as them. But you know what? Right now you're playing worse than they are. And uh, it's something that's got to change, especially uh, at home here where the Mets have just uh, everything's gone uh, gone south. Four runs they had today, but only on six hits. I think it's the pretty much the, you know, the quality of your number one, some of the quality of bats. I mean, uh, you know, we sit there tonight. Uh, which, you know, Dave between innings goes and goes back and watch, looks at the films and comes back and talks about balls that aren't, you know, not even, not even close to being strikes that we're swinging at. The only bright spot for the Mets in this game was that John Neese came back after 12 days on the sidelines, missed a start because of tendonitis in his shoulder, and until he tired a bit in the seventh, he looked good. Uh, felt really good. Felt strong. Um, you know, probably for the first time all year. <laughs> um, you know, despite pitching in the cold early on and then going through the shoulder problems, um, today felt probably the best I've felt all year. Yeah, struck out the side in the first. Uh, he was back all the way. Uh, made a couple of mistakes here and there, which will happen when you've been uh, gone 12 days, like you said, Gary. But that's a positive sign to get him in the rotation so you get in that mix uh, a, a well-pitched game every fifth day. So the Mets get swept by the Marlins in a two-game series shortened by rain. They have a day off on Monday. They get back to action on Tuesday night. Against the St. Louis Cardinals, Jeremy Hefner will be on the mound against Michael Waka. Six o'clock, our coverage, Cadillac first pitch Tuesday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.